Hey guys, I'm Kim Orleski. I am the leading sales coach. And did you know your proposal should only ever be six slides? Six slides, that's it. A proposal is not a statement of work. A proposal is not a scope of project. It is not a lengthy letter of engagement. It is not a contract. A proposal is a proposal. A scope of work is a scope of work and a contract is a contract. If you are trying to poise your proposals as any one of those other things besides a proposal, you are doing yourself a terrible disservice absolutely terrible because a proposal is a story. A proposal is this is what we've done on our journey together. And it did not matter if I was selling $40,000 copiers for Xerox or $40 million payment solutions for American Express. My proposals were only ever six slides, six slides. I didn't say six pages. I said six slides. I say, go Google slides, go to your PowerPoint and create it as six slides. Which of those six slides include? The first one is the goals. What are the goals that your client wants to achieve? What do they want to become? Product or service aside. Do not get too caught up in the solution. Just get them understanding what it ultimately looks like in their picture. What do they dream about? What do they aspire to achieve? Let's get them saying yes right away. Yes, that is my goal. Yes, that is what I want to achieve. Awesome. We do this strategically. We do this strategically because number one, we want them to say yes. Number two, we want to make sure we're in alignment. If what we're trying to help them get to isn't really what their goal is, how does any of the rest of the proposal make sense? Slide number two is your current state, the current status, what it means to stay right here for one more day. And it should be terrible. If it isn't terrible, the client has no intention of ever moving forward because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what the current state is, is it might be okay for now, but in six months, in a year, in three years, if we don't change, oh, we're going to be the next blockbuster. We're going to be the next Toys R Us. We're going to be the next company that decided that they didn't need to change. Your client needs to understand that they are going to have to change and they need to articulate this to you. This comes from the value creation process where we start to ask them the question. Slide number three should be the ideal state. Now we get to start to inject what it looks like to work with you, but we still have not talked on product or service. We're just talking what it means with the impact that you business owner, entrepreneur, salesperson are going to have on client. This means this is in the smaller window. The bigger picture, the goals, outside of that, there should be an ideal state. This is what it looks like six months or a year or two years from now, however long it takes you to finish your project and be out of there. I don't want you then to be thinking about what it's like to work with you. I want them to think about what it's work like to work after you are gone. That is the ideal state. Get them thinking about that. And what would that mean? And what would that feel like? And how much more powerful would that be? Slide number four. Now we get to incorporate what the solution looks like. At this point in time, we are talking very high level. Don't get caught up in all the little things that we are talking about. At this point in time, we are only talking about what it looks like in the grand scheme of things. We're only talking about this is what we look like. Slide number five. Now we get into the timeline. The timeline is critical for moving the project forward. This is entirely about where do you need to be to have this finished? And then we move back from there. What would it look like, Mr. Customer, when you're able to have this project completed? When, Mrs. Customer, would you like to see this already running for you? When, Ms. Customer, would it be important for you to be able to see the profitability start to come from the a project that we're undertaking? The timeline starts with the end in mind and we work backwards from there. And then, ah, sales magic, somehow, they have to make a decision to today or two weeks from today. We don't give a proposal to anybody that's going to take more than two weeks to make a decision. If it's going to take them two weeks to make a decision, they're not ready to make a decision. Too many things can change, so they need to be able to have that decision made today. We position the proposal before we go into the meeting by saying, 
listen, I'm going to give you everything you need. I'm going to present to you everything you need in order to make a decision. We preface the meeting so that they know what to expect. If they say, yeah, sounds good. You're on target. You're good to go. Go and present there, rock star. If they say, oh, no, 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 we're not quite ready for that yet. Awesome. What else do you need to see? What else haven't we discussed? What other information do you require in order to make your decision? At least we're in alignment. Slide number six, your last slide. So now we've talked about the goals, the current state, the ideal state, the solution and the timeline. The last slide is all about return on investment and the next steps we need to get to achieve that. It talks about this is what we believe you and I have discussed is going to be that return on investment. Now I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Return on investment is not up to you to decide. It is up to your client to tell you what's important and why that's important, but it is responsible for you to tell the client what the next step is. We're going to sign the contract today. We're going to start our new next implementation call. Our project will be complete soon enough. It's the same as the timeline, but we shrink it down so that they understand, Oh, this is what I need to do next. If we don't spell it out for our clients, we leave them in an abyss. They've gone on this entire journey with us and they're like, this is fantastic. And we've taken them on an ocean tanker and left them in the middle of nowhere. And they have no idea what they're supposed to do next. We want to make sure that they understand where we're going to take them by getting them to port. And then we go along on our destination. That's it. You guys, if there's anything I think I'm missing from a proposal, let me know, put it down in the comments. Is there something that you specifically put in your proposals that I didn't mention in here? Or maybe you completely disagree with me that the proposal should not just be six slides, but it should be one of those other elements. Put it down there. I want to talk to you guys. I want to engage with you because we're here to help you sell more faster.